Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokes Your Channel. Hey, sometimes people ask me why, you know, I'm showing mostly the guitar on the fretboard so you can see see what I'm doing and it also helps me get a better tone from the amp. So I'm not worried about always showing my face, not because I'm shy, but I'm trying to get a better tone, having the mic at, you know, closer to the amp, a little bit lower gets a better tone. But uh, this is a Washburn J6. It is available. You know, I'll go 549, including a brand new case, which I paid extra for. But this is a really nice guitar, and I'm, I'm going to kind of continue with my where are the, you know, where's the really great value in guitars. This is one of them here, uh, which is the Washburn J6. Now, I've sold uh, a lot of Washburn uh, J6s, and, and they vary. Even Chet Atkins said every guitar is a little bit different. Uh, and uh, by the way, here I'm just doing like a four chord to a major 13 flat five if you look at it and see it's got the, the G flat okay but it's got the, the the major seven interval and the 13 in there so this is just you know the bass is moving down like a major third or you know so that's kind of a nice you know and sometimes with a jazz box if you play a little softer it tends to bring out the tone a little bit more you know you kind of let the guitar and the amp do the work but anyway, this, you know, I, I did a, a video a while back discussing where, you know, where are the great values in, in, in a used guitar or a new guitar for that matter. But the only new guitar I recommended was, was guitars from the musiclink.net because they, the lower arch tops and the recording king, the, the company's already done their homework to make sure it's a great value and kind of a win, win, win. They're not, they don't spend millions and millions on pricey advertising like the big, huge companies do, so they have to charge a lot, and it's just it's not good value anymore. But this is a good value, but uh, guitars vary uh, greatly from guitar, from guitar to guitar. And uh, this, this one has the Buzz Fenton uh, tuning system, which gives you better intonation. It's got a beautiful flame back. It really has a sound. One of the weak areas of an arch top is tends to be the mid range and the mid, the mid range and the mid bass. Uh, but yeah, this guitar really has a beautiful tone, and I'll, I'll go five and a half. You need to pay a little shipping, but I, I bought a brand new case that will fit this. This guitar did not come with the case. It's not a Washburn case, but it's, the case is hard. It's 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 a good. It's a brand new case. It's a great case. So you're getting the free case. But that's why I always suggest to people too: don't shop with your wallet. Like it seems like in today's I'm going to call it discount dominant marketing environment. You know, everybody's oh, you know, forty percent off, fifty percent off. You know, oh, if I find this guitar for a hundred less or hundred and fifty less, it must be a better guitar. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Sure, we all we all get lucky once in a while, but the difference with me is I'm not just showing some guitar that's on a site that's sitting in the big warehouse. I have this stuff in my office. I play it. I get to know it. Oftentimes, I buy it from other great musicians that have a great ear. So when you buy a guitar from me, you're buying something that I've really gone over and that I, I am excited about having and owning for a while. And, and, and I kind of sense the mojo in the guitar. I wouldn't have bought it in the first place. I don't just buy the cheapest things that are offered to me. And I actually, you know, search and put in time to find the better instruments. And I pay a little bit more so the person will sell it to me and I make a little bit less. But you got to understand it's a still a win-win situation. I think too many people think, oh, if they find a guitar for a little bit less money, it must be a, a better value. It's not true. It's not that simple, folks. Guitars vary, vary greatly. Even Chet Atkins said every guitar is a little different. But uh, this guitar will blow away, you know, like an Epiphone Broadway or, or a Joe Pass. It, it's, it's got that more, it's always hard, hard to describe tone. But it's a, uh, it's kind of a, an airiness. It still, it still has the great mid-range and the great bass and orchestral balance and but it has a kind of that, that kind of high-end refined bloom and that kind of, uh, like I said, it's very difficult to describe a, a great jazz tone, but it's got, it's got air in the note. It's got air in the chord. It still has definition and clarity, but it's got bloom and air. And these are even flat wounds and you can still... This guitar sounds to me a lot like like a great, you know, Eps, Gibson F, L5 or something. But this this is one of the, so that's why when I discuss where are the great values in guitars, I don't want people to think I'm saying you just have to buy 
you know, the Lore Archtop or the Recording King Flat Tops. There's lots of great values out there. But the point, the, the most important point I want to make the, today in, in mm -hmm. today's video, and I think I'll do cycle one on the guitar letter system. The, the most important point I want to make today, though, is guitars vary greatly from guitar to guitar. If you don't believe me, ask some player who's been playing for 25, 30 years, a great player, and uh, they'll tell you, yeah, it's true. It's really true. It's amazing how the variations, and, and why do you have those variations? Here's cycle one, by the way, in the guitar letter system. I'm starting to give out samples again, so if you want a sample, couple samples of the guitar ladder system, just send me an email to pokesu.gmail.com. Maybe put in the subject guitar ladder system samples. I'll send you a couple samples, and and I, and I offer a free consultation. And the idea behind the consultation is not, you know, just to try to sell you. I mean, sure, I'm going to recommend that you invest in the guitar ladder system, but I'm going to ask you about your playing, ask you about your progress, you know, ask you what your goals are, and and try to see if we're a good fit, and maybe give you some helpful tips. And, uh, and that's a free consultation, and uh, I, I, that reminds me of another video I'm probably going to do maybe today, which is, is it possible to take a quantum leap on the guitar? Is it really possible to take a quantum leap and learn, like in six months to a year, what normally would take you six, seven, eight years? Is, is that possible? That's going to be a separate video. But feel free to call me, 714-548-0385, or if you want to set up a time for a brief, you know, uh, kind of consultation. We'll talk about your guitar goals, and I'll try to explain to you more about the guitar letter system. You can send me an email to you to pokesu at gmail.com or stevezook7, not seven spelled out, just stevezook, S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K, -E -E all lowercase, no spaces, stevezook7 at yahoo.com. We can set up a time. But feel free to call me, too. But anyway, yeah, this is a really, this, uh, a lot of, most great arch tops have a really nice mid-range and mid-bass, and that's where most arch tops, even Pat Metheny said, a lot of arch tops are tubby sounding. They either have like just that deep kind of west tone, but I, that's not even fair to say because a great west tone has that real nice mids and mid-bass because he was playing like an old, you know, 57 L5, you know. But the thing is, um, you know, that's the most difficult thing to find in a, in a great arch top guitar is, is a beautiful mid-range and mid-bass and of course they, you want to get a good bass and a good treble but it's a nice mix this guitar just has a beautiful i think a good way to put it is musical good musical sound so anyway um and i always like to share one little trick like here i'm doing a four chord and then I'm coming down like a major third to a major 13 with a flat five. So, hear that? You could always, you can also come down like a, um, a minor third. And that kind of wants to resolve, hear that? So four chord to major 13 flat five. But yeah, the 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 the, the, uh, the Washburn J6. If you can find one that's musical, like this one, is is a really strong value. They they tend to have more L5 in them, like a good Gibson L5 CES. They have more L5 in them than like a Joe Pass or a, you know, like even most Eastmans. You know, Eastmans are pretty, but they they kind of they lack a lot of tone, especially unplugged. Like an LH350 will blow away that Eastman unplugged. Because the, the, the L5, the the, the lower LH350 has a better violin voice top and, and you get more acoustic tone out of it. But yeah, this this is this is one of the great values, but they're hard to find. So like if you find one that's like a 150 less than this, that doesn't mean you're getting a great value. I and mean, people need to stop shopping with their wallet. And this isn't a sales pitch, it's just true. You need to understand that the great guitars, uh, you know, are, are not easy to find and they vary greatly from, from guitar to guitar. So this guitar is a lot of value for five and a half. I'm throwing in a free case. Love to see it go to a good home because I really love this guitar. And like I said, I, I, uh, I, I play these guitars. I don't just, you know, I'm not like some store that just has a, you know, hundreds of guitars tucked into an inventory. I actually play my guitars. I get to know them. I get to know them when I buy them and it has to have that magic. And like I said, I'm not like a pawn shop where I, you know, I pay like hardly anything for a guitar. I'll pay up to get a great guitar. So you have to understand, you know, if you're shopping for a great guitar, don't let, you know, 150 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever get in the way. It's, it doesn't make any sense, you know. I mean, to get this much tone, you know, for 549 is, is a very strong value. And 
I'm using a uh, solid state amp. Now, I don't have the tone and everything up all the way, but that's a lot of tone. So again, feel free to send me, uh, you know, for I'll send you a couple guitar ladder samples. Again, here's here's study one. And if those of you that are in the guitar ladder system, remember you have to email me once in a while, tell me what you've done so far, and I'll send you another study. That, and you don't want to rush through this stuff. Now, now study one with the with the shading, or sometimes I call it cycle two. You put in hear that? You put in that major thirteen flat five in there. Sharing that common tone. See that, that nice? And when you find something that works, just milk it. See what I'm doing? Minor 7 to major 13 flat 5, or I can go minor 9 to major 13 flat 5. Maybe go to something. But anyway, uh, so. This is, this is kind of a continuing in the series of where are the great guitar values, which I already suggested is in used guitars, unless it's like a new guitar, like by the Lore Archtops or the Recording King by, uh, by the Music Link, because the Music Link has, has done their homework and they've, they've, they've adjusted their business model so that they're, they don't have to charge a ton extra because they're not spending millions and millions and millions on advertising like the big boys like Fender, Gibson, Martin, Taylor, companies like that. Folks, they don't pay for the advertising, you do, okay? So, I mean, if you're gonna buy one of those guitars, buy one used. But yeah, if you wanna get a great jazz arch top, which is actually quite versatile. Now, this has got flat wounds on it. But I don't normally like flat wounds, but on this, on this guitar, it really sounds nice. But if you'd like to get a really great arch top and you don't have to spend three grand to feel like you got a good value, 549, you're right there. This guitar sounds amazing. Really has a beautiful sound and it would be a great guitar to work the guitar ladder system on. So for samples of the guitar ladder system, send me an email to either Steve Zook, the number seven at yahoo.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K, -E -E the number seven, not spelled out, all lowercase, no spaces at yahoo.com, stevezick7, yahoo.com, or pokesu at gmail.com. I'll send, I'll send you some samples of the guitar ladder system, and, and you might want to take advantage of that free consulting call, because I'm just going to ask you questions about your playing and your progress, and it's not a, it's not a pressure type call, it's more of like we explore your guitar playing, we're going to explore your progress, or a lack of progress, to be honest about it. Nothing feels better, folks, than to, than to make progress on, on the guitar, begin to hear your own musical ideas, floating around your head and then find them on the guitar and seriously a quantum leap is possible on the guitar if you work on the right material and i haven't seen anything out there that even comes close to get the, to the guitar ladder system and that's not arrogance or ego I, I give god or the universe most the credit for that but i've worked my butt off i've got 35 40 years into developing the guitar ladder system so the cycles in the guitar ladder system really really are going to wake up your musical ear create new neural pathways and uh, if you're all like I just recently discovered I'm always looking for new tricks to put chords together because that's where the huge growth like I just recently came up with this hear that and, but the thing is if you keep exposing your ear to tension and resolution in the 10 systems of improvisation which i teach you in a very simple innovative organic fashion i've trimmed all the fat off folks my guitar ladder system doesn't have any bullshit it doesn't have any fat there's no busy work just because it makes it look better if you work on the material from the guitar ladder system you are going to give yourself the, the best opportunity to actually take a quantum leap and i've sold over six thousand courses i've had people with master's degrees in music by it and uh, everybody's really happy because you don't learn you don't learn guitar and music by learning a kind of an in-the-box left brain formula, you know. Music and learning art is different. You need to experience it, you need to hear it, you need to let it, you know, flow into your subconscious mind. And I discovered the, the science of neuroplasticity is right along, like my, the way I teach guitar ladder system goes right along with the science of neuroplasticity which, which in, involves the way that you go about learning so that your subconscious mind can 
can do, you know, can really help you when, and the subconscious is extremely powerful. So anyway, uh, so to conclude, one of the great values in a used guitar, if you can find one, they're not, it's not easy to find great guitars, folks. It's not, it's not as easy as people think. You don't always find a great guitar. I know I'm hammering this point, but this is really a valid point. You don't find your best guitar by just buying the lowest price. It's, it's not true, okay? Um, and my customers email me back all the time saying, man, I love that guitar, Steve, you know, it's worth every penny. So yeah, yeah, this is a lot of guitar. Uh, and again, today's little trick was four chord to uh, major 13 flat five. So you just come down a major third and that can go both ways. It sounds better this way though, doesn't it? So for free samples of the Guitar Ladder System, send me an email, pokesu at gmail.com uh, or stevezook7 at yahoo.com. Uh, probably pokesu uh, at gmail.com might be better for the Guitar Ladder System, but I'll send you some samples. If you'd like a, a, consult, a free, you know, uh, consulting about your guitar playing and your guitar goals, either just call me or, or, or email me and uh, we'll set up a time. But uh, yeah, I always say to people, if you understand the guitar letter system and really what it's about, you'll probably order it because it really makes sense. And it's really an opportunity for you to take a quantum leap on your guitar because what you play, if you even just devote 45 minutes a day playing the right studies, you're really going to experience some tremendous growth. And by the way, the guitar ladder system is not just a jazz, uh, you know, system. It's, it's to help you learn to improvise on your guitar. And when you get that musical tool chest together, you can apply it to any kind of music. I write all kinds of stuff. I do some kind of Joe Satriani stuff and some lead solos. You can check out my music at stevezook1.bandcamp.com. That's stevezook, the number one, dot bandcamp.com. I do some nylon string, I do some kind of solo acoustic and altered tunings, kind of Michael Hedges style, I do all kinds of stuff. But you'll, people always email me, they say, once you start getting into the guitar letter system, you're just gonna start hearing musical ideas that are floating around your head, you'll begin to find them, it's really great. Nothing feels better than that. But this is available, folks, 549, worth every dime. You will love this guitar. I'm really gonna miss this guitar. I hope it goes to somebody good. If you're looking for a great arch top that really has a vibe, that has real tone, real maturity, doesn't sound thin. This this is the way to go. It really has a nice sound. And I'm using a solid state amp here. Take care. Bye-bye.